Okay, we are gonna turn this chunk of clay into this right here. This is what I do uh, every year about this time. And so I'm a little behind schedule, so we gotta get busy. First thing I do is I'm gonna wedge the clay up so I can get it to where I can put it through the roller and uh, make a slab. Okay, I got my clay all kind of pressed down. I'm going to run it through the slab roller. Probably do three passes so we can get it down to about three eighths of an inch thick. And that'll give me the right thickness so I can press out the medallions. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Got my slabs rolled out. I have the bronze master that I uh, made many years ago. And so now I'm gonna just cookie cut right out of these slabs. Okay, I got those all pressed out, as you can see. And then I gotta just individually cut out each medallion like so. The medallions have been sitting for a day. This uh, hardens them up, makes them a little bit more stiffer and workable. I have to um, handle each one now and you can see these little burrs on the side from where I use the needle to cut out the form. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of break these off. Since the clay is a little bit more dry, they kind of just break off. And, nice. and uh, it's just a skewer with a bead. And what I do is I go around the edge of the medallion with the bead. And it gives it a nice little imprint. You can see that up close. So it's a nice detail, and I do that to all of them. Uh, the next step is I'm going to take some stamps and I'm going to put my signature in it uh, on each of the stars. Basically, it's some rubber stamps with letters. Just come right in here, stamp it, and you got the signature right there. Everyone knows who made it. Trademark, baby. Go to the back side now. I like to put a little pattern on there, texture type design. I have this bamboo mat. I have this little necklace I picked up 14 years ago. Still got it. This is what I do with it. Set it on the mat, and then just take the medallion, slap it down, you get the little symbol on there, the embedded lines from the bamboo mat, looks really good. So we just do that until they're done. Okay, so these are all ready to be loaded. They've been glazed. 
we got to load them in the kiln and fire them. It's called the bisque fire. So we can just stack them, stack them up, and they'll be fired off over the weekend. Okay, they're all ready, and we'll get them out on Monday. They're all fired once. They're underglazed. Now I need to stain them, which basically I'm coating them with this blue, royal blue glaze. And okay, so now I have blue glaze on there. I'm gonna rub it off the raised areas and then the details will come out. As you can see, the lines and the symbol and the date so now the detail glazing is being done, and I have one of my minions doing this repetitive slave work. And he's just hitting each dot. Time to load the kill. They're all glazed, detailed. We're going to load these in here, and they'll be done in a day. Time to look in the kiln and see the finished product. There we go. Oh yeah. Success.